What's good everybody? It's your boy Jelly Bean Killer here. I appreciate you guys coming through to the video. Just wanted to show you guys how to beat the new boss put in DST. Actually this past Thursday for me. The Wear Pig. Alright, so as you see in my inventory with the items you will need if you want to efficiently beat this guy without taking too much damage, it's gonna be some form of nightmare um transformation. So you're gonna need either the bomb helm or the nightmare amulet. You'll see why shortly. Um, Magic Luminescence for speed and walking cane combined preferred and then of course any type of armor you wish I use dual side crowns because it's one of the strongest and First things first to free them. You need the pick slash axe You have to go in the ruins and make the pick slash axe. You can use a regular pickaxe to um, Get these down to this um, black formation that they turn into this black rock that they turn into but um, in order to start the boss fight, you will need the pickaxe. Now to start the boss fight, you see how each pillar is shaking? You have to hit all three of them simultaneously and have them all shaking at once in order to start the boss fight. Once that happens, you'll see shortly these little creatures, like little crawling bugs will be on him. They will start attacking him and like he'll be fighting them off. And that's when you're going to put the bone helm or the nightmare amulet on to see these creatures and kill them so you're basically helping them out you're going to free them help him um, fight off the little bugs that are messing with him and then that will actually start the fight where he begins to attack you and then you start the fight so as you can see here the bugs jump on him i use a bone helm because the nightmare creatures don't attack me if you haven't been fuel weaver yet then obviously you can just use a nightmare amulet you will be able to see them if your sanity is fairly low but you won't be able to attack them unless you have a nightmare amulet like you have to be fully insane, like no sanity, I'm pretty sure, in order to actually attack them. You'll be able to see them though if your sanity's low, but you won't be able to attack them until you have zero sanity. So this can be this phase can be pretty dangerous. As you see right here, I accidentally I tried to attack a bug and I accidentally attacked one of the nightmare creatures. So put that away. This was actually my first time attempting this boss fight in my world. Um my solo world. I actually had fought him already though with me and Ladybug. We knocked them out in her world. Um, together that was my first time fighting them and we did them legit we didn't look up anything and we just figured it out it was a little bit of a struggle but we did learn a lot in the fight we didn't have to roll back because she was wakeford i was warley and we used vault gold jelly he wasn't wet like in here like on this video but we were able to take him out with two of us so right here this is the first part of the fight you'll see he starts to walk around this is when the fight starts okay so watch closely in order to dodge this, as you see, every time you get hit, you will get flung like that. You have to move towards him diagonally. Towards him diagonally to his left or towards him diagonally to his right. As you can see right here, I'm also moving horizontally from him. The only reason I'm getting away with him with the horizontal is because I have the speed bonus from the Magic Luminescence and the Walking Cane. If you only have one or the other, then you need to do this diagonal uh, route that I'm talking about. So diagonally to the left, diagonally to the right, you need to dodge him three total times. So that means three total times of you not getting hit by that attack, and then he will start huffing, and that's where you can get, sneak in about 10 plus hits in with your hand bat or whatever weapon you're using. But if you get hit right here, as you see I did twice, it will reset so you'll have to do three times without getting hit so you just one time right there as long as you don't get knocked over i got tipped right there but i didn't get knocked over that's two <laughs> sometimes just kind of he starts walking so you got to be careful when he does that because he'll start walking you'll think you're okay and then he'll attack you again so um right here you see it got me <laughs> so i started the whole counter over so now i have to dodge him three times one two he does a little animation for a roar in between three and then right there you see once he says huff huff and he goes into this little form right here where he's resting that's when you let it loose on him now i did notice that when you do when he does do this walking animation one thing you can do is go ahead and start dodging him diagonally like if you see right here if you run towards him when he's doing that he'll still go into that attack animation even though he's not running and you can still diag diagonally dodge him so right there i dodged him three times and once again, it's just rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. He's going to go into this walking animation. That's when you that's when you know to back off and get ready to dodge. And then right here, you can just diagonally dodge close to him. Now we're in the second phase. So when he does this hammer pound, what you want to do is make sure he hammers these pillars here. Because these pillars is the material that you need for the blueprint that he's going to drop for you. If you don't get him to hammer these during the fight, 
Um, me and Ladybug learned the hard way. <laughs> we had to roll back after we beat him the first time. We didn't know where to get these little, um, the materials needed for the for what we get at the end of this fight. I'm going to show you what items he drops. But um, we had to roll back and we figured it out. And then after we beat him, I did a little bit of research and realized that I don't believe you can break them with your pick slash axe. Um, if someone wants to try that and let me know. I didn't really have the patience to go back through, re-roll back, and then try it again. But I'm pretty sure you have to have him attack the pillars like this. Um, if he doesn't attack them and knock them down like this, I don't believe afterwards you can break it with your pick slash axe. They'll just do the shaking animation again, if I'm not mistaken. But if anybody um, has tried that and want to tell me if I'm wrong down below, let me know. But as you can see, this next phase is going to be a mix of him doing the punching animation. So the punching animation is going to be kind of quick, as you saw, I was kind of talking. But once he does the punching, you just dodge like you normally would. And then you can sneak in about two to three hits to be safe. Two to three, because it's very fast. He does a couple punches back to back to back. And then he's going to start mixing in the punches and the, um, the running animation once you get through the punching phase. But as you can see, I'm Warly, so of course I use Spicy Vogel Jelly here, which is the only reason why I beat him pretty fast. Um, I'm pretty sure when I was looking him up on um, online, he has 10,000 HP, so that's the same as Ancient Guardian for anybody who doesn't know. So uh, roughly around the same time it would take for a regular character to be Ancient Guardian, however many hits, if anybody keeps the count. I know some... Uh, some of you guys might keep count of how many hits it takes for you to be ancient from fuel weaver or sorry ancient guardian that's the exact same amount of hits um are roughly around the same amount of hits needed they don't have the same stats so i'm not going to say exact but he has 10,000 just like ancient guardian so if you're not warly and you're not wolfgang wanda you know somebody with some type of boost to attack then and you're just a regular character you just rinse and repeat and it's just going to take you a little bit longer that's it and once you, uh, trust me i know the, the the dodging when he's running is going to take a little while to get used to the animation but once you get that diagonal dodge down this fight is a piece of cake and as you can see i got dreadstone armor blueprint so i got a helm and then i got body armor now like i said before he's going to drop these things called horrors pure horror which was those little bugs that were attacking him. He's going to drop some of those. And then the pillars that he smashed will drop the dreadstone that you need to make this. If you didn't break the pillars, you won't have it. But as long as you have four pure horrors and some dreadstone, you can make both of these. And their passive ability is that they regenerate. So once they lose their ability, over time, they regenerate back to 100%. So I think that's pretty solid, man. So we'll go back over a little review. This is the diagonal dodge. Make sure you, if you're comfortable turning your screen if you're not comfortable turning your screen then it's more of a horizontal dodge but it's behind him and as long as you have that speed buff you just go behind him basically i say diagonal because i ha how i have my camera turn and then once you see him say huff and puff he goes into that animation where he's tired that's when you go crazy on him you let him have it and then the second phase where he does the punching um is going to be right here back up and as you can see, one, two, three, I was able to get three hits in comfortably, but to be safe, I would say two if you don't want to take a hit. And um, you just do that repeatedly. Right here, I took a hit because I walked into the pits, which do slow you just like ant lions, but they go away uh, pretty fast. Um, but yeah, you just rinse and repeat. And then after you get through this phase, the last phase will be him just mixing these up. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. Peace out. Appreciate you coming through.